Hey everybody, this is Tina. Um, I want to tell you guys um, the second part of the last dream, okay? Um, I, I was interrupted, I guess, you know. Um, um, so, before I start with my dream, I just want to tell you guys, I did harvest my tomatoes, but it was not... It was, a lot of them was not ripe, okay? Um, I got a good handful that was ripe, but, you know, I, you know, my dad went ahead and just plucked it and harvested it without me knowing it was so sudden i was like i was freaking out i was like ah my tomatoes you know like like how jesus is going to be off guard when um you know when um but the thing is um the rapture and the second coming is two different event you guys okay um the i like like i've told you in my previous dream the bride will know when it's close okay god will give them a window like a frame like a timing you know and you know, because we're like little child we're like dad when are we here are we there and you know are we here yet you know are you coming like you know, we're continuously continuously talking to god and god is continuously letting us know of course because we're watching waiting and we're just like we want to know and so um like i told you of course, nobody knows the day because it is two days and not one day. So, you know, um, if um, if somebody will guess, oh, Jesus came on the 20, 26th, but it's not really just the 26th, but it's 27th or something like that. You know, like it's it's 26 over here, but it's 27 somewhere else or, or 27 here and 28. It's, it's one day different. Like I know it's different from here in Vietnam because I call it to Vietnam all the time. So what I, what I want to tell you is. Um, the harvest was not what I expected. I expected more from my my gardening, but I didn't get much out of it. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's what God's gonna feel like. He he was expecting more, but he he didn't get more. You know, so um so what happened was my dad harvested the first bunch, and then I end up going and har I went back into it and harvest again. So um the people that was rapture out was the harvest of you know, uh, you know, the first harvest, and then the, and then you know how I was telling that the bride is gonna go back and do the the last harvest. Okay, the bride is going to go back and uh, harvest the last last, you know, and so um, this is a dream that was related to rapture and whatever. It started out this really angry girl. She was really pissed off, and then she met me, and we were in this building all together, and there was these this old man and this you know who's talking trying to persuade her and whatever and she's and then i met her and then i don't know all of a sudden she got nice and she just fed she just followed my lead like i don't know maybe she, i she was watching my videos or whatever but i managed to um you know she just i i just took the lead and she was just following me for some reason like i was taking the lead and and she was just following me you know and like maybe my teaching on youtube and whatever and um like, like I tell you, don't just trust everybody you see. Just go ask the Lord, you know. When you when you check out a video, make sure you want to ask the Lord because there's a lot of wolf in sheep's clothing, okay? There's a lot of um sheep and uh sheep's and wolf's clothes, right? No, wolf in sheep's clothing. Sorry, I write uh, vice versa. Um so what happened is um uh, we were in this building which looked like a factory we were the product okay you know how that there was like this machine and the product goes in it and it's getting created and gets getting made that's what we were you know we were final products of god and uh we were going up to somehow we were um standing in line there was a big line you know there was a line that was all over this building you know like a line that goes round and up and like that and we went up the stairs to the final the up the a floor which i don't know but uh I, I was telling you that god is lining his brides up right now or the saints or whatever they're lining up like the last dream that is connected to the last dream my dreams are connecting together y'all the last dream i saw was i saw um adam eve okay the dead and brides will uh, resurrect adam eve and all the historian people in the bible they were wearing white robes they were standing in line they they were like after you got the end of the rock, they were flying up. Angels lifted them up, and they were ready to fly. And this, this is this is what this this is definitely rapture for you right here. Everybody was lining up, and you know how only one goes through the door one at a time. 
into the, the door, which is Jesus. You know, Jesus is the door. Jesus is the door, the way, the truth, and light. Okay, light, life, or whatever. So what happened was we got into the very highest, and then we sat down and we were waiting, definitely waiting on Jesus. And all of a sudden, we be we became flies, like fly, the insect flies, or whatever. And um. I was watching a video where this lady was asking God for confirmation to let him know how close the rapture is and she saw a fly flying in her face and it was just annoying the crap out of her and and she was like she didn't understand after a while she's like oh okay that was my confirmation from God that the fly was that close and we're ready to fly out because you know and then in this dream I had a dream I was asking Lord Lord can you give me like a confirmation to let me know where I'm at what's going on you know so tonight I was you know, I was dreaming that we, the one, the people standing in line were flies, literally like with insects. We're in this building looking at out, out at a window. Okay, the window uh, represent a time frame. Okay, I think windows represent a time frame or what, what's going on. I don't know what the represent, but I knew we had to go. Maybe this window represent the portal because I know we're going to go through a portal, y'all. And uh, we're going to be transformed. We're going we're to have, we're going to, yeah. anyways. Um, we, we we're, okay, what I, okay, w once we were like, we became flies, okay, you know how flies are annoying, Christians are annoying, because we feel like we have to continuously, for, you know, we could just tell them once, like, I usually just tell them people once, and I don't tell them again, but if it's my friends and my loved ones, the close one, I feel like I have to tell them over and over, even though they don't want to hear it, they will be so annoyed that, I speak so much it's stuck to their head so when I'm not here they will remember my words you know if I were to tell them once they're like eh, they'll just lie aside they don't really remember but if I tell them over and over and, and just annoy the crap out of them so when I'm gone when I'm not here the words will be stuck in their head and they will remember oh snap Tina talk about this and this and she do talks about this all the time and even if they want didn't want to hear it and we we were Christian were really like flies we were annoying we're really little, as in, uh, we're not significant, we're not popular, we're not big, we're just little, insignificant little creature, you know, and so people thought we're annoying and we're ready to fly, okay, that's what the fly means in my dream, because I didn't understand why the people stand in line and became flies, so, you know, and I know it's related, rapture related, and because of the other lady and her confirmation, and so what happened, um, you know, people was just flying through that portal, whatever, or whatever is going on. But I was looking outside. I was like, I was looking everywhere for danger. You know, I was like, I was looking everywhere. People was just flying and, and not concerning, you know, like crossing the world. They're just crossing the world without looking left or right. You know, they don't. I always tell I'm I'm not a type of person you you better be safe than sorry. You know, get confirmation from the Lord what's going on. Talk to the Lord. Ask Him. Let God be your eyes and your ears. Cause when you pray to the Lord, you're you're when you're praying and you're covering your butt, like Lord, don't let me be deceived, don't let me be traps and tricked from the devil and all that, and let, write my name in the book of life. So if you ever get deceived, you're about oh, Lord, what's up? I pray for this, cause you know how God said, if you pay for bed. Uh, bread your father ain't gonna give you a stone so if you pray that you don't get deceived you ain't gonna get deceived if you pray that you, you get knowledge and wisdom is exactly what you're gonna get if you pray for uh, uh that you don't fall into their tricks or traps or deception this is what you're gonna get you're not gonna be deceived or this is things that people don't pray for so guess what they end up being deceived trap and whatever such as such a and they don't pray for knowledge so they end up being dumb and they you know whatever so what i'm saying is when you pray you know, uh, let God be your eyes, let God be your ears, so, because God sees and hears everything, so you are hearing and seeing everything, and you, you know how to dodge it, so I knew where there was these, um, these things, you know, how the, the can that they, they kind of, like, let the bees smell so they can die off, or, or whatever, like, get away, or whatever, I know this air that was coming out of these, um, metal thingy was poisonous, like, it was gonna drain us, it was gonna dumb us down, it was gonna, like, uh, hypnotize us, it was, it was, it, it, I knew it was poisonous, and we're not supposed to smell it, 
So um, a lot of people just fly through it. I was smart enough to cover my nose. So I did have a good whiff of the smell because it was so strong. But I wasn't as contaminated as the one that did not cover their nose. Like I was, I was praying away to cover my butt. You know what I mean? Like, so what happened was, um, it was like a outside. It was like a farm. It was a late season. All the harvest was taken away. Like. It was dead. It was the yard was like completely dead, y'all. There was like no green stuff at all. It looks everything looks like it was after a big like destruction, you know. And the, this thing, the smoky thing that was coming out, there was five of them or six, five or seven of them, like a can that looked like it was like this kind of in a shape like this, but like a um with a handle. It it, ha it came out like smoke or something that was not good for your lungs okay maybe radiation or whatever i don't know what it is so you know people just going out without you know speaking to the lord and without watching out before you cross the street kind of situation you know they they're not allowing god to be their ears and eyes so they don't pray for these things so guess what you're gonna get deceived if you don't pray to get uh you know if you pray if you don't pray to for knowledge or wisdom you're going to not get knowledge or wisdom. If you don't pray for not getting deceived, you're going to get deceived. So I pray that I don't ever get deceived or, or go in traps and uh, scams and trickeries of the enemy. So that's exactly what the Lord gave me. I'm like, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like some of the things you let me know, I'm like, dang, Lord, that's that's amazing. You know, like God point things out as I go. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this, lady. I'm doing it for you, you know. And so what happened was uh, we were flying out. A lot of people was like, they were fighting through this um, crazy. Okay, what I understand is the window was the rapture. When the rapture was happening, um, um, we we were we were kind of like, um, okay, honestly, we were kind of going through it. <laughs> okay, in the dream, we had we were flies, so we. We were we had a transformed body. Obviously, I was transformed into a bee, uh, a fly. So we we had this transformed body. We're going. Okay, there was a few people that stayed in the building. Like I told you, there was gonna be there's gonna be people that's gonna stay after the rapture. They're gonna, they're just gonna stay there, and uh, there's gonna be a few people that's gonna be sent back to do God's will. Okay, the ones that became flies. A lot of them became flies, actually, a good half, or I don't, I don't know how many, but a good portion of them stayed in the building, and a good portion of them went through um, to do God's end time will or do what, whatever. So we we had supernatural body. I'm assuming because we we were like transformed to bees or whatever, and and uh, they represent we're gonna ready to fly and stuff. And so what happened was we were trying. I was trying to dodge the smell and trying to like. I was able to dodge it, but I could not, like, you know, I still smell it, but it, it it didn't really do too much to me, you know, but I knew I shouldn't smell too much of it. This is the poison of the world, okay? It's all in the air. I don't know what it is, but it's just, like, it's spiritual things, you know, I, I don't know, it's, okay, anyways, um, there's the, that, that girl again. Well, before we started to fly, we were sitting down, right, and, you know, I was, there was that girl that was following my lead and and then there was this guy i don't know who these two are but i put my hand over them i'm like i love you guys as brother and sister of christ you know what i mean i don't love you morally like like uh, immoral or moral like carnal love like the humanity love earth love i love you spiritual love like brother and sister of christ love i i think with love it, it kind of fix everything it heals and fix it, it it gives you a escape route you know how god love it gave us escape route through jesus you know love really gives us an escape route really so um you know it really it sound really good in a dream how i said that and, and they, they, they they're like they agreed or whatever i don't know and then after, after that we went flying through the window and then uh, I, you know, I was, I was getting to the ground because the air was really polluted. So I went down, and I was like, "You guys, come, come this way!" Like I was going through. There was this gate or this, um, you know, the farm that had the the, the gate or not the gate, but like the 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 wood gate kind of thing, and um, uh, to keep the cows in or whatever. I was telling them, "This way, you guys. This way. Don't listen to them. Come on." D I was actually trying to lure them out of the big old mess that they were going through, like, 
they were they were like they didn't want to depart from whatever they they still was a little stuck in the world they were like really amused of what's going on I'm like no this way we got no time left hurry up this way like i was trying to help them to get out of danger you know and so we're, we were on a run there was these big old human that was tracking people tracking these bees and trying to kill these uh flies we were flies at the time they were trying to track and kill all these flies because these flies are so annoying they had to kill all the flies out there that was there was so much flies and i i was you know we're in fly but i knew we're human we're, but we're fly we're little flies you know we're flying around trying to hide and whatever and so we were hiding under this little uh sculpture or something and but uh the other two was following me the one that i put like this and then um they were kind of exposing and then the human saw it and he took one of a, a tool of the, the the gardening tool and cut the hand the right hand of the girl i was like ooh, but she didn't felt no pain like like i told you you were um the the one that have supernatural body they're, they're not gonna feel pain because when we're transformed we are overcome or we overcome death and the punishment of Sin is death and pain is result of death, you know, like illness and stuff is chained to a sin and death. And so when we're, when we are given eternal life, we, we or that new body, we don't feel pain, even though we get stabbed, but we don't feel the pain. Like that's going to be cool. We won't feel any more pain or agony and all that. You know, we don't, we don't feel that even though we get shot, but we don't feel it. We're like, a, like, like literally like, eh, we don't feel nothing, you know? So, um. And her hand was like broken, like there was a little skin that was keeping her hand to her, her, her arm, you know, but it was like completely cut off. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, um, I think, you know, I think this, this scripture means if your hand is causing you, you to sin, cut it off. I know I, I, that's just too dramatic, but, um, the RFID chip is going to be on the left hand, not the right. Oh, the right hand, not the left hand. But if you have our FID chip, you can just go ahead, cut that little piece, and take it out. Okay. The thing is, if you know if the RFID chip is the market beast, and you put it on willingly, then you're screwed. That's what I think. But if, uh, I think if you um, if you don't know and you end up putting it on, and then you found out it's a market beast, then I think you have a, a choice to take it off if you desire but more likely they're not gonna take it off because they think it's the coolest thing to have is the RFID chip if they think it's the new shizumi disney you know like the cool thing you know that everybody has to have one of these you know like like it's the cool thing you're not cool if you don't have it you know it, it does a lot of tricks too and don't do it it's, it's all a deception for the enemy okay to change your dna and blah 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 and spiritual whatever so what happened was um and up carrying her because she wasn't able to be she wasn't able to fly no more okay this girl i don't know why she was not able to fly anymore but i was i was holding on to her like a baby like i my pair of wing was supposed to fly both of us back into you know the place that we depart from which is the heaven that building might be heaven or something i don't know but we end up going back into uh, this there was a circle pool Okay, people were standing on the out perimeter of it. You know how people was in a line; they had to stand in a circle, and they had to go through this, and then the through the machine, and that machine might be the door to heaven. What's going on? I don't know. But they're like, you know, and then the water. There was water up to here in the pool, and I don't know if you guys can tell me what that means. But um, we and then all of a sudden I found myself in a lane with uh, um i knew i was in like in the third or fourth grade uh, in the heaven classes you know how you know we're taking classes on here on earth and we're taking classes and tests this earth is a, it literally a school and teacher and the main teacher is supposed to be jesus christ uh so what happened was um what happened was i was like on third grade I was like this small, but the, I was going, I was standing in the same line as a, a eighth or ninth grader. And they're like, what? How are you here? How are you able to be here? You're so small. You're, you're like a new person. How are you able to get here? Like they were shocked. Like I was so small that I, I was really small and I managed to like with the age I am at, I know like, like basically I, I know like there was this guy, he said what I knew 
what he knew in 10 years, I knew in like one or two years. Because, like I told you, there ain't no time left. The more you spend time talking to the Lord, the more he's going to share with you. You just need to be hungry about it and you just need to seek the answer. I'm just, I'm really fascinated and curious about, you know, random things. And my brain is just like that. And I don't know why, you know, I'm just made that way, I guess. I. So, I was like, I managed to skip a couple of classes and I was like, Mm, like I don't know I don't know why I'm here I just stand in here you know what I mean so what what I'm trying to tell you if you have personal lessons and classes from the main source which is Father Son and Holy Spirit you're gonna progress you're gonna grow faster than if you learn that from me or some priest or some evangelizer okay you're gonna grow normal speed but if you go straight to the source you, you would like in it because god you know god is teropathic you know everything in spiritual is like kadang like it's just it's just instant smacking your face knowledge you know like it's just like duh. like you know when to god talks to you and god tell you things, you're like oh wow oh okay you're like so amazed i'm i get shocked every day when things god tells me you know like i'm just like my my, my eyes are opening up like my brains are opening up to like possibilities you know what i mean like i'm like whoa like why don't you let go of this earth and the teaching of this earth and let god deal with your knowledge let god deal with your brain your spiritual let god deal with it that's when you start growing and improving when you let matters in god's hand he's not gonna tingle and 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 fix you up you know like like that company that factory whatever so um I'm, all I'm asking you is seek God on everything, okay? Only God is going to let you know. Cause I ask question like 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 never before. I asked the most impossible question, and God gave me the answer, and I was like, whoa, totally radical, y'all. <laughs> like radical. Like, are are you sure, Lord? And I was like, sometimes I'm like, whoa, that was just like. It, there are times He tell me stuff, and I'll be like, I'm trying to swallow because like i want to understand it but it was just too complex you know you know i'm like i'm a uh, a fourth grader i was able to learn seventh and eighth grade i wasn't able to learn 12th grade or stuff you know what i mean it, it takes time you know what i mean but um there's definitely going to be more testing after the rapture for those people um you know there's the, you know ra the rapture is graduation graduation on your class I don't know what your class is the more okay all I know is the more obedience you are the more um, discipline and then you know listening obeying God and doing his will which is salty things things you don't like to do like preaching evangelizing preaching and fasting and praying and all the holy things you know and keep sin off your head and all that holy things and then you start doing the word in the Bible, what it teaches you to do. That's when you start growing. And then you come and the main importance is you communicate to God. You know, like you want to make sure, okay, Lord, you know, like, okay, Lord, should I do this? Should I do that? Because God knows. If God doesn't know, you are, you're not going to know. So you want to seek God on everything. That is the only way you're going to graduate. You're going to advance much faster, okay? That's the only way, okay? Why do I keep telling people they know religion, but they don't know God? They're still on the milk, okay? Because they they go to humanity. They go to me or a preacher or a nun or whatever to get their information instead of going to the source, which is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And before you go to them, you got to have, you know, you got to do step one, step two, check out my other video. You know, you got to... Uh, you know, you guys say the sinner prayer, meet in your heart, confess through your lips, and, and, and trust in God, have faith in Him, lay everything, everything on the table, all everything on the counter, okay? And, you know, and, and and just trust in Him, and He'll take care of it. But you gotta, you know, when God starts speaking, and all you need to be is, is obedience, you know? I'm not the best at it, but I'm trying, and when I fail to do something, I repent and ask God to give me more power to be more obedient, you know? Give me to listen to you better let me i always pray let me love things you love let me hate the things you hate so when it comes to it it's much easier for you to do then you know so if you don't like to pray and so god love us to pray so guess what you end up loving praying like now i love to pray before i don't like praying i think it's like 
a waste of time really but now that i i realize that's what god loves us to do and that i i love praying now you know what i mean like and just i love you know one thing i haven't not learned to love yet is fasting <laughs> okay when you fast okay i'm telling you when you fast when i fast okay like you go out without food and without water man you, and then i was your prayer was gonna answer like this you know you have to have faith and then when i fast that's when i heard god audibly and i was like are you kidding me <laughs> so when you fast crazy things happen you know because you're you know, you're crucifying your flesh. God like it when you crucify your flesh in the name of Jesus. Like when you die on the cross, like there's gonna be people that left behind, and so they're not they're not earning their. You know, when you do things for God, you're getting points. You're really getting reward points. They use points in heaven, so uh, you need certain points to go in the heaven, the gates. You know, the Jesus, you need some points, and so um. When you do the word and you obey, and you, so when the, when a person don't have enough points, one they're either staying in the tribulation or you know they have to accumulate their points. You know they have to, and then when you die on the cross, when you get crucified for God and not take on the mark, you're gonna get a lot of points for that. You know like people that's go, the saints that's going that's not gonna get the mark and is willing to be headed for God. They're gonna that is their points to get in the gate because they never have done anything for God or they think they've done stuff but their stuff was not approved it was not approved by God. Like for for instance, like you know, God say when you pray fast and evangelize, uh pray when you when you're praying and you're fasting and you ran well and when you're helping the poor, you do it the right hand without letting your left hand know so when you when you you know you're doing good but you guess what you end up letting your left hand know guess what you don't get reward which you think you're getting re reward but you don't so you don't you said you you know for those people that think they're getting reward they don't because they don't know god because why does god say in those days depart from me you wicker you worker of iniquity i never knew you because because you never knew the word of god you know you, even though you're, you're helping the poor but you never knew that god didn't want you to be boasting about it you know like show off about it you know and i'm not saying i don't do that but i realize it i repent i realize i realize my disease and i ask god to help me with it you know help me with some of this area help me to not boast take all pride arrogance and boasting away from me anything that's not from you take it away lord you know fill me up with more holy things you know i just pray all sorts of all sorts you know and so if you run out of things to pray, just ask the Holy Spirit to intervene. And then you'll be speaking in tongues and you don't even know it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like just ask, you know, if you if you are um, speaking in tongues really help. Because it even though it's speaking in tongues, uh, when you're speaking in tongues, you'll know that, oh my goodness, like, ask God to give you the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit, the gift of speaking in tongues. And then you'll speak blah, 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 blah in a way and you don't even know what you're saying. And uh, then you'll know that would be like a supernatural thing for you to witness the power of God. Okay. God is telling me to go cast demons from people. And I'm like, oh, Lord, can I just heal people instead of casting demons? I think it is all a progress. Okay. The next step that, you know, like God, okay. The first thing he, he wants me to see if I'm willing to give up. Okay. The next step, he's want me to go cast out demons on people. And the next thing is going to be healing people. But the first, before healing people, he wants me to start, like, I know how to cast, because I've cast demons out of myself once. And I was going like, <sighs> like I was going like a snake and all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, check out my, uh, how to be delivered. Okay. And, uh, I was going to put a video together and, uh, just show people how to, well, this guy, he basically say it, you know, check out his video and just say the word. And I was getting delivered from these whatever. And I'm, I'm assuming that God is showing me how to deliver, you know, people from demons and whatever. And I think to heal people, you got to deliver them from demons first. Like to, to heal cancer, diabetes, or any kind of illness, you got to de deliver them from the demons and their oppression. The, the demons is what's causing the illness, okay? sin is um related the punishment of sin is death okay pain is related to death okay all this pain agony like cancer disease is chained together with death and so um so basically you want to god was telling me enable to heal somebody you gotta get rid of their demons first to you know strike them you know and then um strike the demon the spirit cast the demon spirit out before you heal them you know, because 
and um you know person got to know the lord and get saved because if if the person's not saved more likely the devil is going to come back and invite a few more and so you want to make sure you you're with god and stuff like that blah 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 you know amen